Tonight, we are having a feast at one of my favorite restaurants in the Baja Peninsula, Toro Latin Kitchen. This place is incredible. A pan Latin Asian flair that literally is gonna blow your mind. And guess what? I'm not going alone because I got a group with me and we're about to have a fabulous dinner. One of the ways that I love to start the Toro experience is of course in the bar. And this bar is extra special because as you can see behind me, this place rocks. From the raw bar to the drinks, this is where you're gonna find all of the action. We're having the mixology experience and we're doing it right now. The Old Fashioned is one of my favorite cocktails and the Old Fashioned at Toro takes it to a whole new level because there's maybe some smoke involved. Look at that smoke involved. <laughs> yeah. Right? is incredible. When this goes down, you get the most beautiful, sweet, but balanced taste. You can almost get that smoky, toasty marshmallow with a very smooth rum, and it is smooth. And then, of course, the cherry. Absolute perfection at Toro. So, Jorge, this restaurant is an architectural gem. This really is a unique location for the restaurant. It's stunning, it's romantic, but the location is unique because it's Punta Ballina, correct? Yeah, and it means uh, the place of whales. Uh, that's what the uh, locals call this area because in the winter time, just a few meters from the coastline, you can uh, do whale watching. Really? That's so Punta Ballina means point? Whales point. Whale's Point. Yep. That's Hence, the whale feature. This entire restaurant is so integrated. It's the outdoor living room. It's the interior, gorgeous, unique space to dine inside, outside. The whole thing feels like one big restaurant, indoor, yeah. outdoor. Yeah. It's incredible. This is literally the fish capital of the world down here in the exactly. Baja Peninsula. So where else better to have sushi and the fresh fish than here at Toro in Cabo San Lucas. It's absolutely fabulous here. We're going back to the bar because we have another drink to make and this is another one you have got to try when you come to Toro. Special <laughs> cocktail, so tell me all about it. What are we doing here? Cabo Trotter. Cabo Trotter. <laughs> How Cabo. apropos. What an honor. The Cabo Trotter. Okay, well, Frankie, yeah. you have a lot on the line here. So let's see if this drink lives up to its name. Okay, raspberries. I'm gonna make it is it two or three strawberries, okay? Now you're muddling it. Is that lime juice? Yeah. One tequila. This one. Two. Uh oh. Three. Buenas noches. <laughs> yeah. Just when you thought this drink couldn't get any cooler, it's going in the smoker, just like the old fashioned. It is going to absolutely take this drink to the whole next level. And I haven't even had it yet. Absolutely incredible. Wow. And it is perfection. Sweet, little tart, absolutely well balanced and then the mint gives it that pop of freshness. This drink's a hit, Cabo Trotter, 
Don't miss it when you're at Toro Latin Kitchen. Toro Latin Kitchen is a stunning place to have dinner. And when you're here, you can see that it has the most incredible setting from the outdoor living room that literally brings the inside outdoors. It's breathtaking. And one of my favorite features is the whale feature. Appropriate because we are on Punta Ballena, which is Whale's Point in Cabo San Lucas. Hello everyone and gracias por What a work of art here. The sushi at Toro with Peruvian influence on the dish. Incredible. All right guys, dig in. What I love about this food is the influence of Peru on the cuisine. With Moxie's Argentinian background, he's bringing literally all the flavors of South America into the cuisine tonight at Toro. Fabulous. Yum. And being called familia, family, being welcomed to Toro with this level of hospitality, it's one thing to get great food, it's one thing to get great drinks, but it's another thing to have outstanding hospitality, which is a key component of the dining experience. That's what makes experience part of the dining. Let's put the short rib taco to the test. Beautiful braised short rib with the crispy sweet potato and regular potato frites or fries on top and uh, fresh citrus and then this incredible tortilla perfection and there's no pretty way to eat this mm. This is an absolute winner. The beef is so tender, it melts in your mouth, it's like butter. And the texture, you have the waxy tortilla with the beautiful, juicy short rib, and then the crispy potato on top, and then that pop of the lime, it's a hit. Do you guys like the family style? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm. The dish that I'm surprised about tonight is the fish, because this is actually from Korea, which is really unique to find here in Baja, the fish capital of the world. But you can tell already that the fish is beautiful and flaky. And then with a the little asparagus, and then the waxy potatoes and onions, gorgeous. And just when you thought that this dinner could not get any better, I'm coming back into the kitchen because the postres are coming and that means dessert. And if it's anything like dinner's been, it's going to be fabulous. Bye, Mark. Dessert Everything is coming, coming Maxi, huh? It's coming dessert by the lote and cheesecake. Wow. Cheesecake with dulce de leche. Dulce de leche is from Argentina. It's coming. I love cheesecake and I love the food you make. What dish tonight surprised you guys? The enchiladas, uh, the fish, the Peruvian, sushi. any Peruvian The dish. sushi was fantastic. What about you, Denise? What surprised you tonight? Oh, uh, the short rib tacos. Really? I love those. Yeah. yeah. They're really good. Bill, anything? Uh, I would go with the sashimi. Sashimi? Yeah. Yeah, really? Sashimi. <laughs> what surprised you, Miss Amy? I like the crunchy carrots. That was, oh, you know, yeah. that surprised me. Right. And my favorite was the sashimi. As well. Sashimi, wasn't that it? Oh, Mexican love. <laughs> Mexican love. Big hand for you, Senor, for an excellent, excellent job. 
Oh. Wow. Dinner and a show. But Mexican coffee, Kahlua, tequila, the coffee, whipped cream, cherry on top, and flames. Absolutely, not just warming the coffee, but then on top, giving it that beautiful browned marshmallowy flavor and texture. How cool is that? Wow, muchas gracias. Cheers, guys. My pleasure. And your My pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, familia. This is to the finish. Cappuccino and tequila sauce. Cappuccino and tequila. For sure. Mm. Dinner tonight was incredible. The combination of flavors, textures, colors, absolutely perfection in the Baja Peninsula at Toro Latin Kitchen. And when you're in Cabo San Lucas, this is a don't miss.